so here I am I'm a green band about to do some uh, deep press ups on my bars um, and also my toes on my floor sliders with the with this I usually put one twist in it just so it doesn't split on your back and then up and over across the center of my back or whether you've got that real good tension so if you've got any good injuries this is a really good way to train and stay out of any like pain thresholds and by getting that good tension it's really good for recovery you know you move yourself around but anyway so what i'm doing is obviously bar set myself up toes onto floor sliders toes on floor sliders elbows in position and then come down so i'm in a real deep position i can keep my core that's obviously not engaged engaged and then as I push up, hold. This is coming in, and then back down. For one example, number one, so engage. I come up, I hold. Yep. And back down. So it's a lot of movements, but engage. It's really good. You're hitting so many areas. You know, you're getting that tension when you're doing the press up. You're having to hold it out. Your core is engaged because you're keeping that good and body position and slight arc. Keeping your hips up and not letting them drop. And then as you're doing it, when you bring in your knee and kick it out and extend it, then you'll see your hamstrings and your glutes and your lower back working. So that's a real good progression but it's obviously quite a uh, advanced movement just because there's so much involved in it but it's a uh, you know it's a good way to push yourself on you know get comfortable being uncomfortable i.e push yourself so there's that i'll show you again obviously different bands will fully vary the kind of reps you can do um start light go right up and then come back down again just body weight just stay on the black stay on the purple stay on the green you know everyone's at a different level so you do what is best for you you could put one twist two twists whatever works best keep your elbows out and good extension feet in position dusty will probably love this Dusty always got these crazy ideas. So I can start the stop, or I probably could start down here. So there's a lot of different start positions you can go from. We go from bottom to come down. So there, nothing's engaged, but I'm getting a really good stretch on my chest. That's up. That's engaged. Come up. That's really engaged. Knee in, knee up. Hold one, two, in, down, in, up, hold. That's really good on your glutes. You know, you're getting that good. Come down, real good deep stretch, move around. Come up, arc. Toes in, bar slips. And down. If it does slip, just readjust. You can put it slightly further down your back. Uh, I've seen some guys do it around your neck, but obviously just bear in mind having, uh, you know, straining your neck because that'd be a lot of weight going across your neck. So across your back, it's better position for me anyway. So try again. Beast. And that's pretty pretty cheeky with that one when you do multiple reps i've been going since you know since before 5 a.m so tired um yeah so that's an idea um with my large power ball swiss ball if you're working your core you want to think about where you're going to be bending yourself from 
and obviously the closer you are to the center line are you having your feet together and your hands together you're going to be less stable so probably going to rock more but if you have your arms out wide and your legs out wide <coughs> it will give you more stability so to push yourself the arms come in the feet come in um, and you can do it individually or doubles or all four up work in the top section work in the lower section and uh really really good for your core because you have to really like stabilize yourself um real good for skydivers getting that good arch in your back and getting that strength uh, i used to do loads of stuff like that for when i was in when i was skydiving um what else uh, I've done talked about the kettlebells, sort of the bars. Uh, yeah, the kettlebells. That's a real long set. That worked, and every time I did that, it was you know I was doing reps for ages. So I don't know, maybe five minutes. I just, but it's loads of overload training, so it's all good. Um, so that's a couple of ideas. Uh, a lot of sips I'm doing my feet are constantly weighted my hands are weighted trying to keep the weight away from the center um, as a progression for yeah I could show you that quickly <laughs> I'm gonna stop this start again 